In this video, you will learn all you need to know about the don't care states in digital logic and design and in uh, K-maps. So let's get started. So in a circuit, you do not always need all the possible combinations of that input combinations of that circuit. So there is a possibility, for example, this input combination will never occur. So if it never occurs, it won't make any difference on my output and I can exclude this particular combination altogether. So if I can guarantee that this won't occur, I can ignore this input combination altogether and I call it a don't care state. And there is another scenario that the outputs of a certain uh, circuit is not used in the rest of the circuit. So what I mean is, is that maybe we have a huge circuit and there are some smaller modules implemented in that circuit. And um, these modules are con contributing to the final output of that circuit, which is coming from here. Let's say this is the final output of that circuit. So these smaller modules are contributing and, and the final output is then being gained. But let's say this particular circuit is not, its output is not used anywhere in the circuit for now, for some reason. And if it is not used, that maybe this, this input combination, we can guarantee that this input combination, it will be an input for this circuit, right? So this output, the, the output of this circuit is not used anywhere. Therefore, we can guarantee that the, wherever it was uh, used as, as an input, like for example here, it will never occur because maybe we have disconnected it. So in that case, we can use it as a don't care condition. So the summary is what I mean to say is, if we can guarantee that certain input combinations won't occur, we can call them as don't care states because they won't actually affect our output, right? So any input sequence which doesn't affect our output, we call it a don't care condition or a don't care state. And when we do not care whether we use it, we use this input as a zero, as a one or whatever, because it's not going to happen anyway, then it's not making any difference on our output, then we can say that this is a don't care condition or a don't care state. Okay, let's uh, take uh, another example from digital logic and design topics. So for example, if you are handling BCD numbers, they are known as binary coded decimal numbers. So uh, what we actually do is we have um, a binary code for each of the 10 decimal digits and we can represent each digit in a four, each decimal digit in a four digit binary code. So if, and then we can represent any decimal number, any kind of decimal number in a BCD code, right? This is what we do. So if you look at this, these are four digits. That means four input, four inputs or four digits. So if they are four, then two power n equals to 16, right? That means there are actually 16 possible combinations, 16 possible codes uh from from bcd if we are we are using four digits as an input right so that means we are while we are only using these 10 right from 0 to 9 we are only using these 10 so if there are total 16 combinations what happens what happened to the to the remaining six combinations because we are only using 10 so what about the remaining six combinations we call them as invalid codes like this we call these remaining six input combinations, six four digit combinations as invalid code. We do not use them in BCD, right? While coding the binary, binary uh, by, while coding the decimals through the BCD binary coded decimals, we do not use these six combinations. So we can use them as don't care states, right? This is another example. Okay, let's quickly see how to handle them in uh, a K-map. Uh, so one more thing before, before uh, going to the K map, you can see that we mark these don't care conditions as a cross in our uh, truth tables, right? And we can consider them as a zero as well as a one in our K map when we are making the groups. We can use whichever combination gives us the most simplified form, right? That's what we do. Okay, so consider this example. So I have this function. This function is in sum of products form. These are the min terms, right? And we have done that in our other video. So uh, one, three, five, seven, and nine. These are the min terms, these five terms. And we also have three don't care states, six, 12, and 13. And you can see them here. This one, 
this and this one here and now you can see uh, I have to make groups you know and you know that we have to make the groups as large as possible so this is one group that's fine but if you look at this blue group the one um, outlined in blue color you can see that if we don't use this don't care condition we can only make a group of two we can't make a group of three because you know the rules the rules say that um, we can make a group in the powers of two only that means we can make a group of two we can make a group of one group of two four uh, eight sixteen and so on just in the power of two right so we can make a group of three so we are left with just a group of two and this won't give us the most simplified form so if we include this don't care state don't care cell as well we can make a group of four which benefits us right and you can see if i uh, choose the don't care uh, cell as well this is my simplified form which is more simplified as compared to the one if i don't use the don't care uh, states right so this helps us and you can see one more thing that we only use this don't care condition wherever it benefits us so you can see here are two other um, don't care conditions but we don't use them we don't have to make groups for them we just use them if they benefit us otherwise we just don't care about them we, we left, uh, leave them as it is right okay let's quickly solve a live example so i have a four digit uh, four input um, circuit and these are the main terms of that circuit let's quickly draw the k map for the heart circuit right so four input combinations we know that we have to make a, a table of 16 right and we know a and b or or if we if we take this uh, w and x on this side and y and z on this side i was gonna write a and b before okay and you know how they are numbered 0 1 2 and 3 and if you don't know how i did this you can see my other video i'm not gonna uh, complete and cover it in detail right now sorry so 4 5 uh, 6 and 7 8 9 10 and 11 12 13 14 and 15 right so 16 combinations and we are going to write one in these places so one at the place of one one at the place of three one at the place of seven one at the place of 11 one at the place of 15 where is it yeah here okay and i also have three don't care states as well let me change the color so you can understand better so i have a don't care state at the place of zero i'm gonna put across here as i don't care at the place of two i'm gonna put across here i don't care at the place of five this cell so now we can make the, make the groups and we have to make them as large as possible right okay um i can make a group of four right here that will be the first one and then okay let me make this first one i can make a group of four here and then I can make a group of two, but if I use these don't care states, I can make a group of four as well here. Another group. And I don't need this, so I'm going to leave it as it is. So that's it. I have two groups and all of my states are covered. These cells are not represented in this equation, so I don't have to include them. You know that, right? Okay. Um, so I'm going to write the equation now. So for this cell here, I always write this. It helps me. solving the equation okay so here we can see that these two um, w and x stays the same in this whole group and all the others that is y and z have changed so i can write w and x y and z have changed and w x remains the same so w x and obviously bar on top of them because they are zero zero here plus this is the other one so you can see that all of the combinations of wx have changed in this group but one one for y and z that same y and z stay same in this group so i'm gonna write y and z and obviously not bar we, i won't write bar because it's one so we write bar for zero and for one we don't write the bar 
So that's it. This is our output. That's our equation. And this is the solution. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, I could have done one more thing as well. I could have made a group here, like this here as well, right? I could have used this combination. Let me uh, change the color again. Okay, I could have made a group like this as well because one, 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 and I don't care here. So I can I can make a group of this as well. So uh, both both representations are correct, right? Both the answers are correct. You can go with both of them. That means this circuit has two simplified forms. You can either go with this one or that one. The overall logic and the overall output obviously remains the same. That doesn't change. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.